Welcome back! We have begun our quest in King's Quest 4. And as I said previously, there are just two things we need to do. We need to find that magical fruit that will hopefully uh, cure King Graham, who it seems has come down with a stroke or a heart attack or something similar. And we need to uh, defeat the evil fairy Lalotte who has stolen Genesta's talisman, without which she cannot send us back. And of course, uh, we'd better do this quickly, because who knows how long our father has to live. And it seems that both of these uh, things can be found towards the east. Did we look on the screen yet? I don't think so. A cold river carves its way through this lush, flowery meadow. Indeed. Really cold river. Let's test that. Is it cold, Rosella? She's not telling you. Unlike uh, the first three games, this game was never remade, I don't believe. I think someone is working on it, but I have no idea how far that's along. There's no official remakes and no unofficial remakes. Um, this version of the game is sometimes incorrectly label the remake. Oh, there's the unicorn again. Let's see if we can get closer. Stop! The unicorn does not want to stop. They are shy creatures. Well, this version of the game is sometimes incorrectly labeled a remake because there is actually also an AGI version of this game uh, using the old engine. But this is not actually a remake of that version. Um, both of those versions, the AGI and the SCI version, were made at the same time because Sierra was afraid that older computers would not be able to run this version, so they uh, were afraid that, that this version might not sell as well. It seems that um, they were wrong, however, and the AGI version was barely sold at all and taken off the market fairly quickly, so it is somewhat of a collector's item, if you can find it. You are wandering through a thick wood. You hear birds chirping from the many trees. Well, so far this place is pretty uh, nice, so I guess all we need to do is just walk leisurely to the east, pick up a magic fruit, defeat an evil fairy, and then we're done. It's gonna take five minutes, tops. Oh, by the way, although there is no clock in the top of the screen, this game is also sort of timed, but very loosely so, unless you waste a lot of time, you're not really going to run into any issues. I'll uh, point out what the timed things are later. And here we appear to have found a door in a mountain. You see a crude mine shaft in the midst of this forest of pine trees. Ah, another path. This doesn't look bad, but as you can see, it is. It is actually quite difficult to do with the keyboard. Controls in this game are worse than any of the others, which makes these elements a bit harder. Using the mouse is a little bit easier because you can just walk diagonally like that. Let's see if we can go into this mine. Hopefully um, the miners will be uh, willing to help us on our quest. Ooh, it's the dwarfs. You have encountered a group of small men working in this diamond mine. They're not too friendly, though, as one of them forcefully tells you to leave the premises. Oh. I guess... That's not going to, uh... Work, then. They won't want to help us. Well, if I know my adventure game uh, mechanics, we're probably gonna have to do something for them before they will do something for us. I don't think we've had Snow White and Seven Dwarfs yet in any of the other games. So, another fairy tale to add to our list. Ooh. And now we're at the back of the mine, and there is a bird trying to catch a worm there. You are roaming through a dense forest. Can we look at the bird? A pretty robin pulls hungrily at, at a long earthworm. Let's see. He seems to be having some troubles. Ooh, and he flew away. We scared him. But he left the worm behind. 
You see a fat worm wriggling on the ground. Well, not entirely sure what we're gonna need it for, but... Since we can get it, let's do so. This worm actually shows up in different places, so you just need to keep an eye out for it uh, while you're wandering around. It is something you will need, of course. So, if you spot this birdie and his worm, be sure to pick the worm up. There we have it, a worm. Fairly standard. I guess that will be useful to do wormy things with... Wait, what? Um, let's keep on going east until we find uh, that evil fairy or the magic fruit, I guess. A mountain range rises to the east from the forest. A narrow path winds steeply up the side of it. Hmm. Well, Janessa told us that Lalot lives in the mountains, and that the fruit can be found on the other side of the mountains. Either way, it sounds like we're going to have to go into the mountains and cross them. So, this path seems to be the start of that. Is this going to be as bad as Kingsus 3? I sure as hell hope not. Even though I managed to do that without falling, and even a single time. Uh-oh, the lot's goons! Something tells me that's not a good thing. Well, it saves us walking, at least. Well, my pets! The lot hisses. What have you drug home today? The lot gives you the once over, and as she does, her red eyes begin to narrow. Uh oh. Are you a foolish girl who wandered here by mistake? Or are you a spy sent here by my enemy, Janesta? Uh. We're not a spy, no. You swear to the lot that you are nothing but a poor peasant girl who has lost her way, but she doesn't seem to believe you as her mouth begins to snarl and her eyes narrow to mere slits. You s Wait. Oh, sorry. Thought the text changed. For the first time, you experience real fear and begin to tremble. The lot snarls. You don't look stupid enough to have wandered here. I believe you're a spy! Take her to a cell! To THE cell, even. Well, that's... probably not a good thing. Yikes! I don't like this place. You have found yourself in a horrible cell. It looks as if others have found their way here, too. Hopefully you won't end up like them. Um... Skeletons. Maybe some of the skeletons have something we can use to escape. At least two unfortunate individuals have met their end here. <sighs> Why can't we ever go anywhere nice in these uh, games? Is that a stretching rack or whatever you call those? An ominous machine lurks in the corner of this cell. As to its purpose, you don't want to know. Well, I do know! And indeed, it's not a very pleasant thing. What's this, a flay or something? No. I don't know exactly what you call that, but I, th I think it's something used for flaying. There's a window. Maybe we can escape through the window. The window is too high. Ah, you're no fun. You hear the henchmen returning. Perhaps they're setting you free. Yeah, I think that's a bit too optimistic. The henchman motions you to follow him out of the cell. Where are they taking me this time? Back to the lot. The lot gives you a sickly sweet look. You're lucky, my dear, she coos. My precious son, Edgar, has taken a liking to you, and he believes you. He's convinced me to give you a chance to prove your innocence. You glance at the homely young man standing next to the lot. He blushes. Turns from red to green, even. The lot continues. I wish to own the unicorn that inhabits the meadowland. Bring me the unicorn, and I shall not only set you free, but reward you as well. To her henchman, the lot orders. Go! Take her back to the forest!
Well, on the plus side, we're still alive. On the downside, we've apparently been uh, enlisted by Lolot to do her bidding. And although I don't really want to help her, I don't really see what else we could do. If we even can help her, I mean, she wants a unicorn, and the unicorn won't even let her let us approach, so... It's not as if that's going to be uh, all too easy to do. Well, it seems that going up uh, the path isn't really a uh, an option, at least not if we want to get to the other side of the mountains to find that fruit. I wonder, what happens if we go back up the path... Uh-oh, the Lord's goons. Something tells me she probably won't be too happy to see us again without the unicorn. Never actually tried this before. Oh. <laughs> they just dump us back here. It seems they don't want us to come back without that unicorn. That's gonna make it difficult to get, uh... The amulet. So I guess there's no choice. We have to get that unicorn if we want to get close to Low Lot so we can get that amulet back. Let's go north. A waterfall. A very pretty waterfall. You see a beautiful waterfall cascading down the mountain into a deep blue pool. From the pool, a river courses westward. Around you, a dense forest closes in. Now, I'm going to guess that this is the same river that we saw before. Must start somewhere up in the mountains, maybe a, a glacier or something. Hopefully we won't have to climb that uh, distance. Let's see, anything peculiar about the waterfall? This is a magnificent waterfall. It tumbles into a deep pool, which then flows westward as a rushing river. Can we swim in the river? Yep. Unlike uh, King Graham, Rosella can actually swim despite wearing a dress, which is not that easy. The force of the water pushes you back. Hmm. <clears throat> I want to get closer to the waterfall, but it doesn't let me. I guess Rosella is not a strong enough swimmer. Well, since it looks like we can't go further east, let's um, do our usual, usual methodical search and start heading back west in the next video.